Oh, made it. <laughs> so, this is it. How's it going, folks? Hope all is well. Uh, right now, who? I'm out of breath. <laughs> no, I'm out in the canoe now. Just me. Uh, on my own today. Dogs aren't around. Just want to take it easy, keep it simple. Do a bit of fishing now in this lake. Uh, I find with the dogs sometimes, you know, I kind of got to take both of them when I go out most times. I like getting them both out. I feel bad leaving one at home. And uh, with two of them in the boat, it's hard fishing sometimes. It is, you can get it done, but it's, uh, it's a commotion at times, even with Saku. So I just came out on my own. But uh, right now, I'm not far from the road. You can probably, you probably could hear some cars in the background there coming in. Uh, <clears throat> I dragged the canoe down, put it into a creek. Up that creek I went, I just a little ways, pulled a canoe over a beaver dam, paddled across a real small pond, and uh, just portage over to this lake, which is kind of a new lake for me. Uh, I fished once here last year, just briefly for, you know, a couple hours. Actually got a nice brook trout, so that's why I'm back here. Uh, got a nice probably two pound brook trout. And, uh, you know, I want to come back and see if I can get some more. So, uh, stick around and uh, hopefully I can get into some fish. evening down here. It's wicked. Yeah, I just spooked up, uh, geez, a half a dozen ducks there. Came up out of the long grass at the back of the pond. So I've paddled a little ways now up that lake and uh, there's an island right behind me so I'm using that to block the wind because there is a bit of a gust it's hard to fish in the open you're just blowing down the lake so I had a couple casks already coming down no luck Let's see what we can do I'm around here now no rush. Come on, fishy, bite me hook. <laughs> Flies are fairly thick here now. This evening. It's that time of year, by you know they're coming out. This is probably the worst they are throughout the entire year. The first two or three weeks of fly season. Right into that now, and along uh, the side of this lake, it's a bit marshy in spots, so the flies are thick. There's a further down in this lake. There's a rocky island right out in the middle of the lake, kind of. Uh, it's a smaller section, it's like a bay. It's in the middle of this bay, so I'd like to go down and put the canoe on the island and fish from there and see how that is. Looks like it might be a good spot. Drops right off. Anyways, see how it goes. See how she goes. We might get a few fishies. If we're lucky and patient. There's no good runouts on this lake. Where a stream runs into it. 
a couple real small ones but they're only trickles so this is the last stop for this system this lake it's the headwaters I do believe so I'll just be fishing around looking for some deep spots it's still early in the season the fish are deep down in little pockets warm out today is actually 20 degrees or was it's after cooling off a little bit now but uh, it was warm all day so the fish probably came up now and they might be on the move they are I just gotta find them anyways I'll keep you posted Keep you posted. out anyways I got one here I was just about to reel it in I don't think it's very big just lost it got a dandy That's a nice brookie there, hey? Yes sir, that's a beauty. Nice mud trout, I don't know if he's about a pound. Wicked. I just pull in here. Uh, off this little peninsula. Tied the canoe on, it was getting too windy. And uh, had a couple casts off the point. Bingo. Fish number one. Another one. That's a little, uh, Want an ish, a landlocked salmon, he can go back. So I figured that the brook that runs out of this lake runs into a salmon river eventually a good ways down, so I thought I might catch a few of those in here. Alright, nice little one on now. I think it's another one and is jumping around. Ooh, nice size. I think. It's actually a brookie. one just like the first one I got. Maybe it'll even a little bigger. Yes sir. 
<laughs> beauty. Beauty, beauty. That's two now for the pan. And that's going to be a good eating trout. Look at the speckles on it. Look at it. I don't know if you can see well. Now it's starting to get dark a little bit. Especially with the GoPro. It's not good in low light, but beautiful. So we're doing all right now. Ever since I landed on this point, that's three fish. Put one one on each back. And I got two brookies that are every bit of a pound each. Maybe a little more on one of them. I don't usually have a net with me. It's like a luxury. Because it's just too much to drag around, especially on longer trips. It's extra weight, extra baggage. <laughs> I think I'm happier without one. I got my hook all snarled up in here now. It's not a very good net, just one I got a Canadian tar, like the cheapest one that was there. And I don't know, I don't know if that makes a difference, but what a snarl. I just want to get my line back out there because there are some nice fish out there. There must be a little hole I came up upon. Bingo, got her out. And this is what I got on. Just a little treble hook, orange. Uh, spoon I don't even got worm on I bought worms I had them on for a bit but I mixed it up let's see if we can get the hat trick now hat trick of mud trout here so what a pleasant surprise it was to uh, come down to the end of this lake and then hook a fish lose it, pull in where I lost it and catch uh, a couple dandies. Uh, I had quite a few casts coming down the lake, stopped at a number of places, I was trolling, nothing. But down at the far end, where in fact right now all the wind is blowing down this way. Uh, geez, I thought my canoe lit loose then. Anyways, there's a nice gust, I don't know how well you can hear me, the GoPro's not great with the audio and I got my other camera there, but it's in the bag. I don't want to get it risk getting it wet. So uh, anyhow, the wind's coming. So I'm going to turn around now and head back up the lake. I got about two kilometers to uh, to get back where where I get the canoe out and carry it up to the truck, and I'll fish along along the way back. But uh, this has been good, <laughs> real good. A couple of dandy fish. Beautiful evening. Ah, you gotta love it. You gotta love these flies too. <laughs> they're out in uh, they're out in numbers here this evening. Holy jumpings, jeepers! You can see them right now, can't you? They're not really biting; they're just flying around. But uh, I'm gonna have to find a spot to clean those fish too. And that's when the flies are really gonna come out. I usually like clean them out here. I don't like going home and messing around with it in the kitchen or the shed. Clean them out here. Get it done and over with. So, I'll have a few more casts, and I'm going to paddle back up the lake. Oh yeah, that's good meat there, look at that. Nice and pink, buddy. Wicked. Wicked eating that is. Look at that. Blood red. Nice pound trout. Blood red. This one's even a bit bigger. Dandy. What is he? I'd say he's. 14 inches maybe? I don't know, hard to say. Every bit of it. The wind's after dying down again now. It's coming and going, but it's not gonna cause an issue. <clears throat> it's just better to have a bit of wind, keeps the flies away. Wicked fish, another beauty. Look at this one. What a beaut. What a beautiful fish, another beautiful fish, 
Perfect. In the boat. Cut more flicks before I go. <laughs> Hard to resist after catching those beauties right here. So guys, just on the way back now up the lake here. I got the hook out behind me, just trolling away. And uh, beautiful evening, real nice to get out now and have a few flicks and relax. Uh, as for videos on the channel, I'd like to think I can get this one out uh, tomorrow. And I had a video out yesterday, part one of my winter trip that me and Saku had gone on this past February. And uh, I had mentioned below in the pin post that after today and now there's, there's going to be probably a few weeks so I get out again, have a sensible multi-night trip or even just a, an evening or a day trip. I'm going on a speaking tour across uh, Newfoundland. I got seven shows talking about my expedition across Labrador last year, uh, 2018, which I hope to have some sort of film made or a documentary series much like the Newfoundland one, uh, but that's a project that is going to be happening later in the summer and the fall. So that's what I'll be talking about though, that trip on this tour. So the tour is going to be going on over the next couple weeks, so I'll be involved with that. i got some other things going on. Uh, so sorry, there won't be any, any adventures I suppose. But I still got some videos in the bank, uh, the rest of that winter series. And uh, and then I'm probably gonna go over my first aid kit that I take out with me for me and the dogs. I might do a video on that. So there'll be lots of videos. I hope to at least get one out every week, seven days or so. Keep that pace going. Uh, but I just figured I'd update you and let you know what's going on there. So there'll be more adventures to come, but you know, those trips are just, they're hard to get out on all the time. And I don't mind going out for a night here and there, but I'd rather just save up and not do a night for a while and get other things done that I need to get done. And then, you know, once a, a month, say, go out on a, a trip for, this a bite then? But, uh, you know, save up and, and go on a big trip then for, you know, a few nights or a week or two weeks or however long it is. But if I'm going out every other day or once a week, I don't have time to get my work done and everything else. Uh, some of my road writing projects and everything else I got going on. Editing for that Labrador series, I am looking at the footage. I've been, you know, going through it and thinking on how I can make it. So there's some great content. I have hours and hours of footage from that 83 day trip. Uh, so, that's it. There'll be, there'll still be lots of little mini adventures though. So, stay tuned. Hopefully now I can get that third mud trout on the way back here. And, uh, That'd be nice, but again, I appreciate y'all sticking around and you know staying tuned into the channel uh, as it grows. And I appreciate all the comments as always, and the thumbs up and everything. You know the emails, the special messages people send me. And so again, thanks for everything. Uh, we'll keep plugging away, won't we? So I got that treble hook now, that silver orange spinner or spoon or whatever. Just out behind the canoe now. 
open to hit another fish. Just about at the portage point now, where we gotta go over to our first little pond, and then we'll be getting back to the truck. And that's it, it's gonna be dark soon, so I'm gonna sign off. The GoPro's no good there. And uh, it's not like I'm going back to a campsite, I'm going home. Wah, wah. <laughs> I'd love to stay out, but that's the way she goes. We'll be lots of camping trips to come. Uh, so thanks for coming along on this little adventure. I haven't got my third fish. I don't think I'm gonna get them, but I got two beauties and I'm tickled. Tickled with that. Uh, what a nice little spot. I'll be back here for a flick. And a couple more trout, I tell you that. So thanks again guys. Uh, I'm gonna catch you in the next video.